Hi, I'm Peter Knight. I want to talk today about how your wrists act during the swing and how the club should work around your wrists when you're playing a bunker shot. So much is said about your helpful advice in playing bunker shots that you need to accelerate the club through the ball. You need to make sure you follow through. You need to take a lot of sand. You need good hands or good hand action. And so much of that is really misleading. Let me give you an example uh, with an analogy. Let's say I'm using a hammer. If I wanted to, say, hammer the back of the, the club into the sand, I wouldn't drive at it with my hand. I'd bring my arm down, my arm will slow, and that transfers momentum into the club, into the hammer. Same, same as if I was using a hammer. So my arm swings down, arm slows, momentum's transferred and goes in. Doesn't matter whether I'm using right hand or left hand, it's the same thing. So I'm not using my hand, I'm letting the, the movement hinge around a free left wrist or a free right wrist, depending on which arm I'm using. Now what we need to do is we need to turn that into a, a movement that we can use in a, in a bunker shot. So if I do the same analogy, but this time it's a sideways hammer movement. So from there my arm swings down, at some point it slows, and the club head moves into the sand. It doesn't matter whether, again, whether I'm using my left hand or my right hand, as my arm slows, the club head takes off. And you'll notice that the club didn't swing very far past that point of impact. That's because when the club met the sand, all of its energy, all of its force was dispersed. It meets the resistance of the sand and of course slows down. When I'm making a bigger swing, there'll be more momentum there. And so the club will go through further, but the idea is the same. Okay, so now what I need to do is create an, a, a, a drill or an awareness somehow that I can get the club to meet the sand where I want to. So if I mark a line in the sand, now what I'm looking to do when I make these swings is I want the club to meet right on the line there, but I'm timing the slowing of my arms and the movement of the club. So we can see as I'm swinging down here, my arms slow just before impact and the club meets the sand right on that line there. Now, if I can contact the sand in the correct spot, then that's going to give me a very good chance of being able to play any bunker shot. In fact, that's one of the most crucial things that you need to learn to do first, and that's a perfect drill for doing it. Now, when I'm playing a shot, um, the ball wouldn't be on the line if I had a ball there. It would be behind the ball. The distance behind the ball is going to vary according to the amount of sand underneath the ball, whether there's a lot or not too much, whether it's wet or dry, fluffy or firm that's going to change things a little bit, but essentially I'm looking to do the same thing and then just make that adjustment according to the, uh, the consistency of the sand. So when I set myself up, now I'm going to put it all together. So I can imagine that there's a line behind the ball. When I swing through, I'm looking for my, my arms to slow and the club head to meet the ball. And when I do it correctly, like I said, there's more momentum there, so the club head doesn't stop, but I'm not trying to make a massive follow through. All I'm looking to do is let the club meet the sand correctly and the ball will come out as it just did then. Practice that movement with the line in the sand. Feel like you really want to switch your hands off so that you do get that hammer-like momentum transfer. And you'll find that that will really help your bunker shots.